rifle a few days ago, I've decided to give hunting one last try before I leave. Hi there, hello, I'm Paul. And I'm Paul as well. You're Paul as well. well Fantastic. Scotland, yeah. That's very good news. Hello. Yeah, I'm David. <laughs> Do you have any experience with guns and rifles? No, I haven't, no. I got a catapult when I was about seven or eight years old oh, when yeah. my mother made me take back to the toy shop. <laughs> so other than that, well, I uh, haven't... Uh... Dead novice then, so good. That's what we like to, uh, you know... Did you say a dead like novice? To... A dead novice, yeah. <laughs> Is there a sort of pit that you can just sort of jump me in at the end of the day? I don't want to work out, never mind. Paul and David run Insight, a course specially designed to give tourists like me an authentic taste of hunting. And where else would I be taken to make a man of me but into some Scottish woodland? This is becoming a little bit of a habit. Right, that's us, Paul. OK, brilliant, thank you. Right, just out there, look, you'll see a 25-yard first target. Yes, uh-huh. And, uh, and then I'm hoping to have you be shooting the very far one, which is just about 100, 100 I can just about see it. Can you just see that one out there? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right, I'm going to put some... Uh, these are these are two, two rimfire bullets. Uh-huh. And I load some of these bullets into the magazine. This could be quite fatal, could it? This, this, this bullet here, I imagine this is this has killed more creatures across the world, mm -hmm. including humans, than any other rifle. Really? Uh -huh. So, yes. Okay, that's well, a good question. Yes, that's a good, uh, good, good, good yeah. answer. Okay. Uh, totally fatal. Sure, okay. So, oh. I'm going to get you to hold the rifle. Yep, okay. Put it, bring it up to yourself. Right. So, hold it there. Yep. Into there. Yep. Put your hand and on the pistol grip. Yep. Hang on a sec, let's see if I can't see. Oh, yeah, now I can see the target. Can you yeah. see? Okay. Keeping both eyes open. Yeah. There both you. eyes. Both eyes, yeah. Yep. Now, what I've noticed is that try, it's trying to keep the gun steady. Yeah. It's actually mm. quite tricky. I've never even held a rifle, let alone fired one, so I'm feeling a little nervous, especially for the crew. Now there is a live round in that, ready yep. to shoot. OK. It all feels a little bit uncomfortable. Let's have the first shot into the target. I believe that was a bullseye on your first ever shot. Was it? With a rifle. Having never shot a gun before, it seems very easy. <laughs> No, Have you done this before? No, no. Are you sure? <laughs> no, absolutely. Right, you're a natural. Carry on. I think yeah, I'm getting a taste for this. Target, but you're just one inch above the ball. That's five mil off a bullseye again. That couldn't be any closer to the bullseye. Uh -huh. That is actually right in the centre cross. And now for the big guns. That will shatter. Uh, when it hits bone or right. anything else, and they expand, which causes massive damage. And you've got to imagine that could be an animal or a body. Okay. Actual flesh, because it's, it's full of water, and we are 70, a body is 70% water, yeah. right? Make sure you're nice and comfortable, and take the shot whenever you're ready and comfortable. Wow. I seem to have done very well. I, I think there's beginner's luck as well. I'm not, I'm not getting carried away with it. When are the Olympic Games? The next year, aren't they? Have we got a team sorted out for the Olympics yet? Well, with yeah. that sort of shooting, Mr Merton. Oh, well, is this it? <laughs> this oh, wow. is it. Well, look at that. Oh, that's not bad. My God, yes, you see that, yes. That's pretty impressive. That's fantastic. Can I keep that? Certainly, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Well done. Really well done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. Despite feeling buoyed by my success, as we head for lunch, I'm pretty sure the day is not over yet. Especially as we tuck into some local venison. Mmm, it's good. Absolutely delicious. That's wonderful. Beast chicken. Mmm. Well, there's only one thing left to do, Paul. You're going to put uh, what you've learned into practice, uh -huh. and you're going to go out on a little stalk. So what, what, what will that involve? Paul is going to take, take you out on a hunt. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Have you, have you, so you, you, you're quite experienced at this, aren't you? You've been doing this for years. Have you? Uh-huh. We'll see what we can do. And that's, yeah, OK, all right. Well, I'm, uh, I'm happy to give that a go. Yes, OK. I'm I wouldn't say I'm exactly happy, but I am finally willing to experience a hunt. But I have to be honest, part of me does hope that, like the grey squirrel, the local wildlife plays hard to get.
but it's not long before Paul spots something. There's a female. Right, and just take your time behind, just behind the front leg. And my moment has come. And just squeeze the trigger when you're ready. Okay. Don't rush. Good shot. Did it hit it? I got it. Just make that safe. Oh. First steer, Paul. Yes, thank you that very much. Huh? Thank you. Good shot as well. Yes, I, I can't quite believe I did that, but uh, I did, so... Uh, I brought something for the barbecue. Yeah, absolutely. Might be a bit tough right enough, but... It's, yeah, but it's a bit metallic. A bit longer to cook. I thought the bullet bounced a bit far back. It felt like it went ricocheted over my head, you I shot, felt. You <laughs> shot well. You done well. But, With uh, their metal deer targets, Paul and David certainly deliver a convincing hunting experience. At least it felt real to me. Why did you have to kill me? <laughs> I couldn't help but start thinking about Bambi and Bambi's mum. And I wouldn't want to be like that. <laughs> I can see some gesticulation going on in the background there. That's your soft southerner. What are you talking about? It's a cartoon. <laughs> Get out there and shoot the hell out of it. <laughs> No, I, was, I, re I really have enjoyed it, and, I, and I'm glad there's no blood in my hands, apart from my own, because I've cut myself picking this thing up. So, <laughs> so it's a blood sport, but it's only mine. But uh, who knows, you know, I, I might come back next year and decimate the entire countryside. <laughs> Become a full-blooded murderer. <laughs> ah, why not?